Day number five, 12 miles to go. We are 64 miles in, 16 miles a day, four days in a row. This is what morning looks like. Uh, this is some, I can't remember what road that is. We just came across there yesterday evening. Came up this hill and made a, made camp. Uh, it was raining like crazy when we got here. And it rained for about two or three hours and then it quit. It's cold this morning in the 40s wet but um it's all good i'm a pop tart for breakfast i'm ready to get with this man we're four we're four miles from sassafras which i can't wait y'all to be awesome views from there get some great pictures and uh it's gonna be up and down up and down and then down all the way in about four or five miles down um it says it's got some switchbacks it's been it's been an unbelievable hike uh, I got to do it with my son, John, which always makes it better. And uh, the weather really, other than rain in the evening a couple nights in a row, it's been perfect. A little overcast at times when you're going uphill, keep it from getting hot. And when you need the sun, the sun was out. It was beautiful. It's a great hike. And, and man, it, the, I cannot say enough about the condition and how hard uh, the Foothills Trail Conference must work to keep it this way because the trail is unbelievable. I mean steps where there need to be steps uh bridges man you cross so much water it's, um, it's unbelievable so if you're looking to get an at hike in or shakedown for an at hike and you're trying to test yourself and your gear this is where you need to go because it's a lot like the at it's not not exactly um but there's a lot of hard up and a lot of hard down and it's technical enough that you can figure it out and it's not so much that you can't get off if you don't want it because you can hear that car coming i think you can hear it so if you had to get off the trail because you know you had an issue or you wanted to readjust, you could. So it's a good it's a good place to do an uh, AT shakedown hike. Anyway, let me stop talking and get hiking. See y'all in a little bit. John with his new hiking fashion, hiking knickers <laughs> with his thermals. It's looking good. Awesome. All right, well, been uphill all morning. There's the view. We are now at, right at 3,400 feet. Sassafras is like another couple hundred feet in elevation. We gotta go down before we go up. So, but that wasn't too bad. I mean, it was uphill, which is always fun, but it wasn't too bad. Anyhow, we are uh, steady getting it. I could get there. There we go. We made it. Sassafras Mountain. How awesome is that? We're above the clouds. That's my boy. That's where we're headed. Down there. Woo, that was a climb. That last little bit up there stairs. Oof! Trying to kill the old man. How awesome is that? We made it. There she is. Stood here long enough. Take a few pictures. Enjoy the scenery. And now we gotta go down. 10 miles to the truck. Some kind of real food. Anyway, man, it's awesome. You guys gotta get out here. You gotta do this. Here we go. Alright, we 
just stopped for water at uh, one of the uh, watering stations that uh, some Boy Scout um, in 2015 put in. Those things are lifesavers. We're at the John L. Cantrell old home site. This used to be an old home site. And uh, I believe this is the old fireplace. I think at one time it used to be. So, anyway, we got about eight miles left. We're done. Here we go. So we're in a, uh, another one of the areas that uh, had fire late last year. See it? You can smell it. Still see it. All the devastation. So I can't only talk about it. it makes me want to cry. They did a heck of a job stopping it. Though you can see, it's fire on that side. No fire over there. Thank you everybody who took part and risked their lives so we could come out here and do this. Thank you. Here's one bridge that didn't make it. So you got a billy goat through this thing. John's showing the way. There you go. go four miles 72.6 right now four miles all downhill we did it all we got to do now is get to the parking lot here we go some more devastation from the pinnacle fire they've done a heck of a job getting it ready Thank you for all the volunteers, firefighters, men and women. And the Foothills Trail Conference. Check this out. And top of the world I'm talking about. Wow. Look at that. So with this, it doesn't make you want to do something. I don't reckon nothing will.
Look, hieroglyphics. Last mile. Final one. Last mile. Here we go. Last one. 76.2. That's what I'm talking about. Coney State Park, 76 miles, all done. Two tenths to go to the house. Woohoo! Here we go. Crazy. 76 miles, five days. It is now 2.54 on Tuesday. I'm thinking this is the last bridge. There's the pavement. It's got to be close to the end. <laughs> See you later, Foothills Trail. It was awesome. <laughs>